from what I see in the guests that you do highlight on your show, the majority of them come from struggle. Yep. They aren't just, you know, yep. silver spoon. I got a producer. Here I am. Right. Yada, yada, yada. Give me some vocal, you know, some auto tuning and we're there. You're right. You're right. Exactly. A lot of them do come from struggle. And then, and the other thing is, uh, the way I try to string my interviews is not just kind of like in the moment, oh, you're great, you're doing this. It's kind of like I like to think of myself as a storyteller. I like to tell their story uh, because then that will always last because that, that moment and that story at that moment for them is going to be there forever. There's been a couple of artists that reached back out to me and were like, you know, very thankful of the interview because they're like, I've used that as a personal like resume because you were able to tell my story and get me to tell certain things that I don't really talk about. So, you know, in that sense. Yeah, for sure. I definitely That's want people to understand. I want people to understand like, you know, it's not, you're seeing this current success, but that's not easy that this person had to do a lot to get here. It's not, it didn't just magically happen for anybody. And, you know, I want people to understand that you need to put in work, you need to be consistent. And that's when success comes to you. It's not just something that all with the Instagrams and everything these days, that's all we see is success, all success, 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 but you don't see the process. You don't see shit except for a picture. Yeah, so we will assume I'll put one song out, for example, a musician, and I'm gonna it's gonna be a hit. That's not how it works, unfortunately. 